Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Drum Computer uh, by Sugarbytes, yes, yes. But to call this Drum Computer is really a bit of a... It's a bit of an injustice. It should be called the Mad Scientist's Drum Lab. Um, because it's it's just insane. It's excellent. You have eight instruments. Okay, eight independent instruments. Each instrument has its own synth engine, as you can see here. Yes, yes. You have a mixer here, and then swapping this page, you can chain all these mad patterns you can make together. If we look at the go back to the mixer, if we look at the sequencer here. You can sequence all these different patterns, like I said, looking at the actual sequencer up to look, 16 patterns here can be chained in any order you like. So if we held this one here, we can go up to 16 and have it again, repeat to ones or twice the threes. The usual way it works with sugar bite stuff. So you're not in unknown territory pardon me, you're not in unknown territory whilst you're uh, manipulating the uh, patterns and chains. You can switch chain off, of course, and just play pattern one. You can access the various patterns in the chains here, you see. This one's only got two different ones. And then if we go into these blank ones, we can easily populate it very simply, the whole thing, by using this global section here by hitting this little dice will give us a pattern here in pattern seven so we could say oh okay let's go with uh, let's put that back on pattern two let's switch chain back on let's move that along here and let's put that up to pattern seven and now it will chain one then two then seven if you want to chain individual instruments don't forget each of these tracks pertains to a particular instrument i'm just giving you a brief overview of how the synth actually functions how the drum machine works so if you want to randomize like say the well, which would normally be the kick drum here you'll just hit the little dice or you can clear it out like this by hitting a little x and then just add your steps in as you like you can choose the direction that this particular lane will play. Um, you can shift it like this, you see. Off grid, as it were. Uh, you have a resolution up to 164th and then triplets also. So let's stick on 116th here. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And then you have these sections here, which are velocity. So velocity for this particular kick is all the way up. We can randomize the velocity like that, you see. Let's randomize it again. You're actually randomizing the actual pattern as well. Uh, you can clear out a pattern or a velocity. And again, you can select and just insert different randomization things here down the bottom here where it says remix and you've got selection pads here that are mappable are pre-mapped to a midi keyboard as you can see i haven't got a midi keyboard plugged in at the moment but you can do all sorts of cool stuff with that as well okay so we have a remix auto and auto one auto one is a fill auto two is a fill remixes you use this bar here by sliding up and you can let go if you want to and sliding back down you have various midi mappings uh, you can create your own etc etc this is the uh settings i won't go in there because my serial number is in there and then you have the main part here which will let's go back to the actual kit here you have a kit section which allows you to randomize like on a mixer style grid like this. It just basically extends the mixer. Uh, you can randomize each individual drum here like this. Or you can select from a different type of snare here. So let's choose number five. And then we could go, okay, let's randomize the snare again. Or click on it to randomize or go in here choose snare and choose from any of these included snare drums that are already in there for instance we could use this one 
or we could go in and we could go right okay snare randomize let's go and choose another snare for instance this one like a drop snare and then you have a resonator like i said wavetable recent etc etc it's it's incredibly deep what you can do you can see the type of controls you get over each of the actual individual instruments okay so this section here is the presets that are included and there are absolutely hundreds and hundreds of sugar bites here 40 thieves here then you have alex retsis here and then so on and so forth you just have tons and tons and tons of actual this is a, a mode audio kit that it's selected on now if you hit make kit it will randomize the whole thing so let's have a listen shall we so this is a let's see what the sequence is doing actually let's not let's go to our drum and choose this <laughs> we've done there is basically randomize all the kit individually using the instruments does just happen a random will change that drum kit out every time or we can choose a different instrument say which is a synth instrument And then unsolo it. You also have effects. Panning. We could go to wave table. Let's have a look at the sequencer. Seven, let's randomize that. Or we could just clear it out. Or repopulate it. Or 
Okay, so you get the idea. You can go absolutely crazy. You can seriously, seriously build up some insane kits. Let's let's just randomize this entire kit. Okay, so what we're going to do is give you a blast through some of these very, very cool presets because I guess that's what you'd rather hear. I'll have somebody else swigging me old coffee. Hang on. You can, uh, you know, play with the synth engine as much as you like, um, but it's not that difficult to program the sequences where you'll have the most fun because you can choose your individual patterns here to program or to populate any way you like so you could just start from scratch and have a basic sort of with let's say for instance let's go to an empty sorry in pattern an empty pattern and you just wanted your basic kind of four on the floor thing going on here um let's see what they've got in snare so you could have basically this, this, where's a kind of a hi-hat sound. So number three, oh right, okay, so number two, uh, we want, let's put these on like this then, because this is a hi-hat. Let's do your kind of, you could stick one in there as well in there for good fun. And then on the snare track, we could put this. So basic, dead basic stuff here. No chaining switched on, just pattern three. Okay, so let's swap to uh, another preset and let's just play through some of these uh, just, just ridiculously incredible sounds. And what I'll do is I'll have a mess with the remix and section as well whilst it's playing. <laughs> Nothing in three, so we'll do something when that gets round to that. Thank you. 
So there you go. Uh, we won't go any further because, you know, you could be here all day <laughs> just playing with the thing. Uh, you can see that even as a starting point, you get absolutely shed loads of stuff just to mess around with, you know. You just... <laughs> it's remarkable the amount of stuff you get to play with and the amount of control you get over everything inside the, the actual drum computer itself. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron. You can check out Drum Computer at uh, Sugarbytes website, of course. And uh, yeah, just go and, go and have some fun with it. It's epic stuff. Maybe one day we'll get it ported to iOS. Yes, yes. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Ta-ta.